Well, we got to have hot water, but I'm too cheap to pay for that too. So I have a coil of copper tubing going around my wood stove. It runs up along the pipes, down to the wall, and heats up my water system. And since I was too cheap to put a bathroom upstairs, I did the next best thing. I went to Canadian Tire and bought myself a funnel. I made a plate, attached it to the wall, put a hose on the end, and now we have a urinal. A piss with a view. How much better does it get than that? And since I was too cheap to put windows in my concrete building, I did the next best thing. I garbage picked some old TV sets, changed them into monitors, and used some old garbage picked video camera equipment, and made a video security system. Oh, but sweet! Redneck cat food. That's another thing I do. I'm always catching these critters in my building. My kitties love them. This has got to save me at least 25 cents on cat food and make the happiest cat in the world. What a life. You're coming home with me. As you can see, I caught another one. I love it. So will he. So we are now arriving at the beach. Well, remember I said I made some roads. Well, I was too cheap to, you know, buy gravel. So I have my own gravel pit with my own heavy equipment. I extract all these rocks and I make on my own road roadways. That's the way to do it. Gravel is pretty expensive nowadays. So where there was water never before, I bulldozed out an area. I did truck in some sand, but I do get some free sand like that pile there. And I created a beach. Before this was all just grown in, like that was. But with 20 tons of bulldozer and a 12 foot blade, one afternoon, pushed all that shit out. And way back there, there's a spring. And I made a valve system to control the level so I can fill and drain it, and I have a beach. A very cold beach, but a very fun one. Nice and secluded. No one in the world can see you since we're in the bottom of a gravel pit that no longer operates. Oh, that's next. Well, when you're at your beach, you need cold beer. Well, I happen to be almost a mile from my building, so I need electricity. So way over yonder and across the field, I made a free system on my bulldozer to rip a wire in three feet underground so the plow couldn't rip it up so I could have hydro here. Well, every private lake needs a boat. So since I was too cheap, I went and garbage picked some bathtubs Although that's filled with rainwater now. Welded some paddles to it with swivel joints. Got some old fence posts and put a board on top and some styrofoam. Made a raft. Made a free dock. And, well, I got another half sunken boat from rainwater. But, anyways, that's got a mounting plate on it, and I garbage picked myself a 1971 Chrysler 9 horsepower outboard. So I have the funkiest bathtub boat to float around my pond and enjoy life. Well, that got boring after a while, so I drained the pond and took my dozer in and pushed myself up an island. And then remaining materials from my burnt down building that didn't get completely burnt, I had some leftover lumber. Then one of my customers, who's a landlord, his tenants moved out and he found a marijuana grow room built in the basement, all made from pressure treated wood. I had two trailer loads of free pressure treated wood, plywood, boards, timbers, and I made this beautiful platform with electricity on the island for free. Then life wasn't exciting enough already. Pab hit my power box with a car, cost him $5,000 to fix it, and he ripped it right out of the ground and broke the concrete base that was buried under the ground that a big transformer sits on. 
That weighed 3,500 pounds, but I thought, well, what a good anchor. I'll put it on top of a hill by my beach, attach a free piece of garbage pit cable wire, bicycle fork and wheel, and a retractor rope, and I made myself a free redneck cable ride. So much fun. You drop 15 feet and you land in 12 feet of water. We love it. Well, one of my customers heard about my beach and my empty island and he had gone to an auction and bought himself part of a commercial water slide for $500. He said it was the original cost of $5,000 what the company paid for it. So he didn't know what to do with it. It was too big to fit in his backyard. As soon as he put it up, all the neighbors complained. Worked out great for me. Well, and then I had a leftover piece of roofing material, which is a, that straight piece of green metal when I built my building. It was too short. So I, turn, I curved it, added a floating free barrel on the end so it can go up and down as I change the water level with a hinge on that end so I can have a fast water slide and a slow water slide. Of course, water slides need water running down them. So I went and garbage picked two Walmart above ground pool pumps and they actually work underwater. I submerge them and they work. And so I just flick a switch on up there and I have a water system that keeps them lubricated. And it even works in the winter time. Then we needed tunes. So I garbage picked some speakers, a stereo system I built underneath the floor. And so now we've got tunes to go with our cold beer, all for free. Well, after lots of exciting parties at my beach, the women started to complain. Who could complain about Day's farm, but they did. So I garbage picked a shabby garden shed and made that into an outhouse for those shy females. Dug a hole underneath of it with my tractor. Made a platform, bought a seat, and we're all set. It's even got water in the bottom. Well, ice water. Well, in my neighborhood, when someone breaks one chair, or they're just not quite perfect, or the style changes. They buy new stuff and just throw away the old stuff. So I furnished my beach for free. And when someone was moving, they didn't know what to do with their giant trampoline, so I got that too. Cool. Well, in the winter time, it's a long way to plow the snow. And I'm too cheap to hire a guy with a snow plow or buy a snow plow or even own a truck that burns so much gas to put a snowplow on. So, my dozer comes in handy for that. It snows a lot out here, and nothing can stop it. It works wonderful. And by the way, that's my new power box, since Pab killed the old one, and there's the new foundation it sits on. And the old foundation is way over yonder there as my cable ride. And to drive all these crazy free cars we got at Dave's farm, I garbage picks myself some free tires. They don't have very good tread, but they hold air. So I bought myself a cheap tire machine from an auction sale so that we could have an infrastructure to keep our tires going because we blow a lot of tires. And there's the machine to keep the vehicles rolling.